to know who you're talking to. Lisa Murkowski is very independent. She's not going to do something because somebody tells her to. Mm -hmm. It's inconvenient if you want a witness. That's not going to matter. It may hurt the team if you call a witness. And Lamar loves the institution. He's about to retire. He's going to do what he thinks best. And mm -hmm. what we try to do is explain, play it out. They're playing a game here. They set us up. They could have called the witness. They chose not to because it's inconvenient. Now they're asking you to deal out Article Three courts bad. So assume for a moment you had Bolton in front of you. Would it really change the outcome here? Does it make it an impeachable offense mm -hmm. for Bolton to say what he's going to say? Right. And the answer is clearly no. Now, there was another argument that I think moved them quite a bit. Yes. Uh, and it was that what the Democrats were trying to do, if we'd have been 50-50. This is a big one here. The Democrats were trying to go after the U.S. Supreme Court. Big because one. if it had been 50-50, and we talked about this on the show last time, it's completely unclear if and, there is and a And they would have tried to make John Roberts decide. And whatever he did, it, it would have been viewed through a political lens. Mm -hmm. and, and so, look, one case that a number of us made is, is we're in a world – where people have lost faith in Congress, they've mm -hmm. lost faith in the presidency. And if, if we come through this and let the Democrats tarnish the Supreme Court, too, where they lose faith in every institution of government, that, that that's a real problem. And, and Michael, I think we've got a clip here. Yes. That, that'll give an example of the Democrats strategy. The question from Senator Warren is for the House managers. At a time when large majorities of Americans have lost faith in government, does the fact that the Chief Justice is presiding over an impeachment trial in which Republican senators have thus far refused to allow witnesses or evidence contribute to the loss of legitimacy of the Chief Justice, the Supreme Court, and the Constitution? Now, that is an insulting question. Now, Michael, would. I'm going to tell you something surprising. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren helped defeat the impeachment of the President of the United States. How do you mean? That little stunt she pulled was a campaign stunt. Uh -huh. That was a fundraising stunt. That was designed to thrill the left-wing activists in the Iowa caucuses. <laughs> there ain't nothing else going on right. than that. But I'll tell you what, that stunt yeah. helped deliver the votes of Lisa and Lamar. It did. Uh, beca be because it hmm. made clear this is a political game. Right. And if John Roberts doesn't vote the way Elizabeth Warren wants, she's mm -hmm. going to call him a political hack and throw him into politics. And it suddenly raised the price of their voting and making it 50-50 because you don't want to see the court thrown into that political swamp. Do you agree with that, Lindsay? A hundred percent. All you got to do is look at her statement. Mm -hmm. She said a fair trial in the Senate's impossible because of them. This is Lisa Murkowski. Yeah. Statement. So her statement was that they're going to set up the chief justice because they hate Trump so much. So the difference between 51 and 50 is enormous. If it's 50-50, then you put the chief justice in the crosshairs of history. You begin to corrupt the court, as Ted said. They could give a damn on the other side. They just want an outcome here. And I think it really mattered to, to Lamar and Lisa that Ted explained the historic nature of what the chief justice would be required to decide. And I think I explained Honest to God, if you believed every word of John Bolton, would it matter? The truth and is, it would. By the way, a left wing attack.